Welcome to Arena Breakout. What's up, guys? I am Nerd Squared, aka Braxis. Uh, hope y'all having a great day. Let's uh, have some fun playing this first person survival. All right. If you know me, you know I get bodied. <laughs> but things are still copacetic and it's still fun. I have a great time doing it. And uh, I get to learn and get better. I'm using the Backbone uh, Android joystick for the Android phone. I have the S23, the middle version, not the Ultra or the, the first one, but the middle version. And uh, one of the first tips I can give you if you're using a, a joystick controller or just using the, the swipes on the phone, double check your settings for sensitivity. When I first started playing, I did not. And I was just using the screen, swiping everywhere, feeling like I was moving too fast. I didn't understand. Even when I got the backbone, I was still like a fish out of water. So um, I played around with it. I died a few times and I feel like I got the settings pretty good. Uh, so uh, mark uh, a minute and 15 seconds. Your settings for sensitivity should definitely be at, uh, I say it's starting out. Overall settings should start out at 45. See how you like that feeling or 50. See how you like that? The settings for ADS while firing or without firing or what's the other one? There's a third one. Uh, there's three different uh, sensitivity settings for all the scopes and everything. I have mines at about 9, 11. And that's, again, using the backbone. When I'm using the swipe on a screen, that's entirely too slow. But with the backbone joystick, it actually works pretty good like that. So a lot of my settings are at nine. The overall uh, sensitivity settings is at about, I think, 35. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you definitely check that out. Uh, let's check this out. Let's see what I have on me. As you see, I'm bare naked. Your boy died recently, so I really don't have any gear on me. So let's, uh, let's go check out my inventory. I have some stuff from last time. Let me straighten it out. When you press that button at the top and everything is highlighted, you can press quick organize and it will organize all your equipment. We can start at the bottom from my miscellaneous uh, container, which I'm saving up these gunpowders because I want a large ammunition, ca ammunition case, which will help me uh, organize my bullets. Let's look at these bullets. These, place, these things are all over the place. And when you get more, they'll take up this main storage and you will be strapped with space when you find things. All right, so these dog tags, these need to be sold. I have a case for my weapons, weapons and parts. I have a case for armor, bags, and helmets, and rigs. My medicine is in my main storage. I don't know why these won't go down to the other storage. Bullets, ammunition, uh, like grenades, mags. These are parts for the guns. And honestly, again... These parts take up a lot of space too, besides bullets. Parts take up a lot, especially if you're uh, trying to save parts for guns you like and you want to make them again without them costing too much. And as you see at the top right corner, I am brokeity broke right now, 18,000. <laughs> when the beta started back up, I had about 100, I think I had a million or so, and I went down so much. Uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. Can't sell none, I can't sell none of these Victor 9s if you see. I got the little lock and key box right there that means i can't sell it in the market for top price so i have to work on it all right so this will end the video next time you see me i will be in a field uh hope you have fun playing some arena breakout i'll let you see me put my uh gear on and modify a few weapons all right let's go let's go put this here usually do my armor first. I'm not going to try to spend any money. Bring a cheap uh, vest. I think I'm going to run in and uh, try to kill a player. Maybe I'll get a book bag or whatnot, you know. My face mask, this helps protect me from getting shot in the, in the face. Which happens a lot, trust me. Let's see about the book bag. I have no book bags and these rigs, these are expensive rigs. They have a lot of pouches. Look at that. Press the magnifying glass. 20 slots, 18 slots, 40 slots. To me, this stuff is too much, especially for what I'm trying to do. I'm kind of broke. If I go out and lose this, somebody's going to have a nice come up. But I'm going to use this 18 slot one rig. 
So I can put some ammunition here. I'm going to run with a small gun that maybe I could snipe with a little bit and uh, do some close range stuff work. Okay, so we have a rig. We have a helmet and armor. Let me put my headphones on. I have two pair right here, but let's look at the stats real quick. You can open up more than one of these boxes, but you can open up three max. If you have um, magnifying open on a weapon and you press three of those items inside of that, it will close that weapons uh, box like this one. Okay. So here we go. We have tactical comm headsets and commander tactical headsets. If you look at the basic info of them, we have noise, uh, sound pickup and noise reduction. The one on the left, the COM-1 tactical headsets are horrible. It says bad. But the ones on the right, the pickup is medium. The reduction is, is uh, strong. So that's pretty good. We're going to wear those. That helps us hear enemies that surround us and kind of reduces the sound we make when we're running around. All right. So I have all my armor on. I have uh, the gear to help me hear players and a rig to hold uh, ammunitions and mags and things like that and uh, grenades. And also med packs, but I like to put my med pack in the safe as you see down here. All right. So let's go. Let's do meds. All right. So I'm back in my main storage. I don't have a med case, so everything is in its main one. I'm going to need some important things. Um, the green case, like you see this one down here, STO, this is uh, for repairing broken parts in your body. So like... If you've played this game before, if you've seen it before, you have a body figure at the top left of the screen. If your body part is blacked out, you will use this to repair that. That's like broken bone. So it's basically a surgical kit. Uh, these other ones, like this one right here, the E3 and the 1000 one, these are kits that actually uh, repair wounds. Uh, so this E3 one repairs wounds, but... It will not stitch you up like if you needed a bandage, like if you're bleeding. But the white case right here, that one works with bleeding. So you can bandage up without bringing bandages with you. Those are kind of pricey. You don't want to lose them. But I am about that life. So I'm going to bring one with me. <laughs> you're going to get some water. You know your boy get thirsty. Uh, I'll bring some painkillers. Hopefully I don't lose them, but we will see. I remember I said I don't need a bandage, but I will bring a health regen just in case. That's an injection. So I can also heal uh, my wounded areas that's red that don't need bandage with that as well. Now let's see. We got water. Got that. Let's bring a candy bar for a snack. Boom. And uh, that's about it. Again, I have this down here. Got extra ammo. Let's take this out because we don't need know where that's gonna. We don't know what gun we're gonna use yet. Let me order this uh, back up. Boom. All right. So we have that. Let's get grenades. So I particularly like smoke grenades. Smoke grenades help hide my location. <laughs> I can get out of there or reposition myself so I can. Uh, uh, tactically sneak up on somebody or, or or get in a hidden position where they can't see me. I only have one smoke grenade, so I'm going to bring one of those. I'm going to bring one of these T-13s. The T-13s are cool. T-13s are impact grenades. Unlike this MK2 right here or the M67, the T-13, as soon as it hits whatever you threw it at, it's going to blow up. So either a person, the floor, the wall, a barrel of hay, whatever, it's going to explode. And it will not, unless the person is like hurt already, it won't kill them, but it will hurt them bad. So then it, that helps you out. Tears their armor up. That You can shoot, tear one bullets at it, tear zero bullets at the person, and you probably will kill them. Um, let's bring one of these MK2s as well. Put that in my pocket. And a Molotov. All right. So now let's look at weapons. I had a few bundles, as you see up here. I use them, from, uh, so I have some weapons here. This QC61 is a good weapon. I like this gun. It shoots really fast. Um, it takes cheap bullets. It's really cheap to run with this, so we can. I'm going to keep that in mind because I might run with that. Let me go to my other gate. You know, I got the VSS. Don't want to use that. Don't want to use a sniper. SKS is good, but I'm going to farmland, and I'm looking to get players, so I'm running up in a face. Uh, I could run with this shotgun. That's not bad, but you have to be on point. 
Shotgun is nice though. You can catch the bodies, but not at a distance, unfortunately. I don't want to run with the P90. I would hate to lose it to MP5. Don't want to run with that, nor this mini. So I think I'm gonna run with the QC61, but I'm gonna modify this gun real quick to make it a little more uh manageable. Let's go to modify gunsmith. Alright. So we're gonna keep this mag. We're gonna look at the barrel. It's the only barrel that you can get. Keep that muzzle. You could do suppressor, silencer. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to go silent. Forget all that. We loud today. Change the grip on it. This grip is, f you see that? The aer ergonomics and the hip uh, fire stability. One and that. It's not bad. That's kind of horrible. Let's see what else is here that I can use. That one's nine and four. Not bad. Five and two. Seven and three. Six and three, two and one, five and two. The best one is this one right here, the AK. I guess that means industrial. Uh, it's 2K. I have the money so we can rock with that. I can't stand that right there. I can't change it until I change this. So what I'm going to do is remove this. Change this to change the, the receiver to that one right there. Okay. Put this new uh, stock on it. Luckily, I have one of those. See, keeping uh, parts for guns. Look at that. I didn't have to pay that thousand uh, nine hundred and nineteen hundred right there. So now we're gonna add a stock on that. I will have to pay for this though. <laughs> the best one to me is that Carb uh, International. This one is is off the hook, uh, but it's not the most expensive as you see. They got one down here for nine thousand, but it has nice hip fire stability. But I don't want anything like that, honestly. So let's see. This one isn't bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I like this one. I think I'm going to go with this. It's cheap. It's not bad. We're going to rock with that. Give us a little grip. I personally, personally like this uh, triangular grip. It's really good. Uh, look at the stats on it. But this vertical grip is the best one on this uh, board right here, as you see. I only have these two here, but it also does have an additional stat for mag check. Decrease the amount of uh, time, I, you know, the percentage that it takes to check your mag, how much ammo you have left. Uh, I don't know how much money I got, but I'm going to go with the best one up here for right now. And we're going to see how it works. Uh, we're not going to put no scope on this bad boy. Not really. Check the front sight. Nope. Let me get one of these on here. Mm, I like these front sights. That one. Receiver is going to stay the same. Put a different scope on here. Close range. That SRDS is my favorite scope as well. Uh, let's see what else we can put on here, though. I put that triangular scope. So we're going to throw that on there. Remember, we're doing close range today. Now, we're going to put complete, and we're going to see how much everything costs. Look at my boy hitting me up. I'm not going to join him right now. I'll join him later. Let's see how much all this costs. So right now, I have 18 k in my bank. And so far, everything together is uh, all together is coming up to 35. That's a lot of money. And I said this is a cheap build, right? <laughs> Let's look. Did I have any saved up here? This one is a bit cheaper. Let's see how much this is. Abandon that. It only costs 4K to make this. Simple, straightforward. Boom, boom, boom. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I don't have no stock on it. As you see. There's a silencer, so we're going to cut in some money, but let's uh, get my mag in here. Organize this. See if there's any more other mags I have. If not, then I have to buy some. I have two more. That's nice. Let's see. You can also change the orientation of your items that you put in storage, too, as you just saw. Either horizontally or vertical. All right, so I want to get another mag if they have a higher count quantity because um, these only hold 20 rounds. 
And I need some bullets just in case. Let's see what bullets I do have for this gun. Let's see what it takes. When you press it, the bullet ammo it takes will highlight. So it takes these 7 uh, 62 times 25 And my favorites and the best ones for this gun are the AKB, AKBS. These are the best ones. Uh, so let's quick do a quick equip. Let's see. Um, yep, look at that. 20-round mag, and then we have a 30-round mag. I'm going to go buy one of those. And I'm going to get some more bullets. So far, it's only going to cost me that much. It's not much at all. Let's get another one of these. 30 rounds. You see how I just added another mag and it took it off, right? Because now we add the ammo to it. Now we do have the, the thing where we can fully reload the mag, select the ammo, fully reloaded mag. Just two of those, ammo. Boom. Let's see where they go. They didn't go on my person, even though I have two slots open. It's at the top of my storage. And the bullets, since it didn't really charge me for bullets, it gave me only nine extra, right? So the rest of my bullets are in my storage already. That's why I didn't charge me for them, because I have enough for what I was asking for. But let's put these over here. Might as well just throw those in there, too. Let's go down here and grab the bullets. It's only a stack of 10. Well, we're about to hook these bad boys up. Boom. 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 I like to carry extra ammo. And as you see, I only have 40 rounds left of those bullets, so I'm going to buy some more. All right. Now, another way we can buy them besides the quick uh, way to do it, because if you do it the quick way a lot... I will take from your your storage, but uh, I don't have any. So let me just show you another way that we can get bullets for the, the mags that we have and everything. So just press this button. And if you go down to ammo on the bottom right, it'll show you what ammo is for this gun. And you see the AKBS are most expensive. Oh, besides the PST. Uh, but I like the AKBS. Uh, Watch this. That's the wrong button. So let's press the PST bullets. And look at that, cheaper at the contact. So we have contacts that sell ammo and different things too that come cheaper. So I can get them cheaper than the 7, 570 for these bullets. So let's look at this. This is level 2 bullets, base damage 50, penetration 22, armor damage 10.13. Chance to wound is low. And initial bullet velocity, I'm assuming that's the, the speed as soon as it's coming out your gun. 430 millis, uh, meters per second, right? And accuracy is plus five, which is not bad. But let's check the AKBS. AKBS is only level one, as you see it right there. But let's check these again. Level two, right? 50 base damage, 22 penetration, 10.3 armor penetration. Armor damage, I mean. Let's check this again now. Look at that. Base damage, 58. Penetration, 13. Armor damage, 4.5. Let's check the other one again. Now, you could open these bullets up and have two screens up. That's on an another screen, not here, fortunately. So, I'm saying penetration is better. Uh, but the armor damage and base damage is not all that. But you know what? We have some of these bullets, so I'm just going to grab some. Let me reorganize this. See down? Oh, actually, I only have 29 of those bullets. So, let's go buy some more. Search. Boom. Buy here. I want to get them cheaper from the contact. Press exchange. Boom. Get them for 38. You see how much they were costing, right? You <laughs> can get them for really cheap now. So I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy about 100. All right. Let's go back. Press the power button. Go back to my in, uh, inventory. Now, just so I don't lose these bullets, if I die, just like anything else that's important besides keys, we throw stuff in our safe. That that surgical kit I have down there was expensive. So definitely it's going to my case. So now I'm set. 
have my uh, my medical stuff, food, water, ammunition, medicine, grenades, uh, mags. Stow this up here. Boom. Only thing I'm missing right now is a bag. So let's go buy a nice little cheap bag. So I'm not spending a whole bunch of money. And I'm going to go to the contacts for that because contacts, you do save money. Later on in the season, another contact will open up where they'll have like these tickets that you get. And you can buy things from him without spending your money. Let's go to buy. Not him. Uh, DK Vincent is the best one for buying bags and rigs and things like that. Watch this. See? It's not bad. See how much that costs. That's level 5. How much it costs for that? Sometimes it's cheaper to get things from these guys too. That's a lot of money. We can check to see how much that armor costs later on if you want. Or you can check. Just remember the name. Uh, and I need a book bag. Boom. I like some of these bags. It was one of these bags I really liked. But I'm going to check this one. See how much this costs. 4K. Perfect. I'm going to buy one. Boom. Yeah, I know I'm down to 5,000 left. But it's alright. It's okay. Or maybe I should run in there without my bag. And I won't lose it. And I think I'm going to do that. Because if I run into a player... I can take his stuff. <laughs> but uh, real quick, watch this. So now, since we're set, I got everything on me I need, you'll be good to go. If you're running in there just trying to find stuff, kill a player, take his bag, and you'll have a bag. But I want to see how my gun shoots. The only way you can modify your gun in a, in a gunsmith from here. If it's not here, you can't do it here. You have to put it in your storage. So I put it in my storage, I click it, and I press modify. Boom. So now, my gun is already set. I really don't need anything else, right? But I want to I want to test shooting it. Let me see something. Yeah, I didn't have any of those. I might even be able to take off one of these stocks from another gun and put it on here. So, boom. Let me just take this stuff off. All right, now let's do complete shooting range. See that? Boom. I don't need to save it because I already have it saved. So just press abandon and leave, and it's going to take me to the shooting range. Now, just to make sure, because you see I went to the, the gunsmith, so I had to put my gun in the box so I can modify it from the, the storage. So now it's not on me. So they just fixed this for this version of the beta. Press that storage button right there. Find your gun or guns, I'm gonna take two, press the back button at the top right. And it, it's, it was supposed to take me back. What happened? <laughs> let's go to, um, let's go back, let's do it again. Cause I did this yesterday. Boom, modify, complete, shooting range, abandon and leave, come here. Boom, boom, back. It was supposed to take me to the shooting range. All right, they're playing with me right now. Let's try this again. Here's another shortcut. Click a weapon that's not on you. Modify, complete, shooting range. <laughs> Make it work for you, whatever way you can, right? Boom, abandon and leave. And we are now in here. Start training. All right. It's going to bring us in the shooting range, which is here, aka training. Come up in this bad boy. And we can shoot our gun and test our aim and accuracy and also your sensitivity if you don't want to be like me and do it while you're in a game. It's the worst way to do it. So as you see, when I do that, the gun does a little bit recoil vertically, but not horizontally. And that's when I'm uh, zooming in ADS. So now we're gonna try from hip fire. 
I think for this gun and most other guns, the best way to shoot is don't hold on to it. Because if you noticed, right, when you're holding your fire, your gun is going to go up. I like to shoot people like this. Now, when I'm rushing and everything else and not paying attention, this doesn't always happen. <laughs> But as you see, because of the, the scope, um, the laser sight on my joint, the aim is a lot better from the hip. Center mass. But if you notice, I just touched my, my right thumbstick a little bit. You see how much it goes over? I didn't want it to do that, but it did that. Let's resupply. Make sure it's still put on my, my mags back and everything. Which it did. See that? There we go. So maybe I have a little more to, to work on when it comes to aiming like this, especially when things get tense, but it'll work out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's about 20 something minutes. It's uh, tips and tricks from starting out, putting your gear together, getting your bag together, getting your uh, inventory together. Um, next time we can show you, I can show you a little more on inventory space and putting your stuff in inventory and also the, the loot cases uh, when you're uh, like how I have my bullet case and gun case and everything like that. All right. Hope you all have a great one. Have fun. Welcome to a Breakout and I am Nerd Squared. Peace out.